Hey guys, peace, love, and light on Beyond the Spectrum. Um, I actually thought this was an appropriate TED to focus on while I talk about this. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the spirit world and the world we live in and the different densities that we um, go through to enlightenment, um, my personal experience. And that's the only one I can speak of is just my personal experience. Um, yes, I do talk to my grandson, all my grandchildren, when I see my other two, um, about, um, what's going on around them, what's above them. Um, my grandson that I help take care of, I, we both have seen ships together. Um, I showed him, we saw one that literally, like, looked like the old Millennium Falcon, like, the back of it was all lit up, like, the Millennium Falcon would be, and then, um, another time was coming home from the beach and it was shining like brighter than the stars and it hadn't been dark enough for stars to be shining through it was incredible it was something very magical it felt magical um my grandson lost his dad um we're coming up on michael's anniversary actually this month um and when michael passed i had um contact with him when michael crossed over it was one of those, Michael was very young, he was only 26 years old, and um, when we went in to say goodbye, he had already crossed, he had left his body, and he was still in the room though, and he was in complete shock that he left his body. He was actually freaking out, I could hear him. Um, I knew Archangel Michael was with him, I could feel him. Um, he was literally freaking out like that, like this isn't happening, this isn't real, oh my god, like he, like someone would be pacing back and forth in a panic attack, that's the energy he was in. And he follow us, followed us out of the hospital, me and my daughter. Um, and I know this because A, I could feel him, and then we got into the car, and I'm driving my daughter home, and my radio station changes. There's no way my radio, it's digital, um, it was... I could control it from the steering wheel and the dashboard, so there was no way it could be changed. Like, we didn't bump it, we didn't hit it, the, the station just changed. And Michael communicated with me personally through music, certain songs, um, but I did have an experience with him in my backyard with acknowledging his presence. And I could hear him, and I could feel him, like, jump for excitement that he made contact. <clears throat> and the night he passed away, my grandson didn't know. My grandson was only three. Um, he had just turned three or just turned four. Just turned three, because he's only, Michael's been gone three years. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, my grandson saw him the night he crossed over. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Throat chakra clearing out here. Michael was there. Michael sat next to him on my bed. Abel had no idea Michael had died. And... Abel knew and Abel could see him. Abel forgets that. My grandson forgets that. That's how deep in this world takes us in to forget that. That we forget what we're connected to and the divine love that we're connected to. We came deeper than we ever have before on this time around. We've been here many times. A lot of us have been here several, 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 several times, several lifetimes. And we've gone deeper and deeper and we forget. That's the spell. And for this little boy to forget that, that's very telling. Now, I've died, and I have. Um, and I've walked between worlds fighting for my life as I was dying, trying to stay alive. And um, believe me, you come in and out of worlds. You come in and out of realms. You go back and forth. You, ha you have a tether to your meat suit, for lack of a better way to put it. You have a tether. Um, creator God is very real. And we come from divine love. Where all is forgiven. I mean, for me, all is forgiven. I mean, I didn't go murder anybody. I don't know how God works with that. You know, I, I don't know. Um, and I'm not here to judge. And I'm not. Because I believe our God is so loving that 
every everything is for some messed up reason that we don't understand and i'm not excusing anything i don't know i feel like there's a special place believe me in another world for people who who take people's lives and, and are cruel to animals and things like that i think there's an absolute freaking special place for people like that but that's my judgment mind um my experience with creator is divine love and forgiveness and knowing there is no, none of this stuff that we're going through right now. There's none of it. There's no doubts. There's nothing. There's nothing like that at all. You just know. You just know because you're so connected. You're not in a meat suit. This is the, such a dense reality we're in. And when I came back, there was three things God told me. I only remembered two. And I can't remember the third one. No matter how hard I try, but I know when it happens, I'll remember. Because I trust that. Um... We're not supposed to be all divided and separate. That was the biggest challenge. The deepest we went this time was the div div um, division. That was the word I was looking for. Division. To overcome division. To overcome feeling like we are divided. We're not divided. We're all connected. Not one of us is not connected to another. We're just different frequencies and different levels of it. And we do come from different star systems and levels of heaven um, to come on this mission. And we are on mission here. And we are to help those who, who got continuously stuck to wake up. And not really, but to help them wake up and ascend. To realize they not, don't have to keep get, coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. That's what this is about. And there are twin unions. That's a very real thing. We have a twin union with our solar system, with our sons, with um, other people. We call people um, divine love. There's such things absolutely as divine love. Absolute bliss to be in love with somebody else. That is real. We come in with others. We come in with certain soul tribes. We come in with other souls and other souls descended even more so into two separate bodies as one. And, and if you say that's not possible, then you're still in a limited belief system. The point is to get out of the limited belief system. So um, that's just been some of my spiritual experience with heaven and, and, and my family. You know, my daughter, well, my daughter, my baby, <laughs> well, my baby, when she was nine, she had um, mono. I didn't know she had mono. She was very sick. I kept bringing her to the hospital, like 105 fever. They didn't know what was wrong with her. And we were homeless at the time. We were in a shelter. And um, we had gone through hell, physically, surgeries. That's the year I died. I was in, I was in a shelter, and I was in the hospital when I, when I died um, and came back. Um, and then my daughter got in mono. And my other daughter and I, were we all had to sleep in the same room. And we watched my youngest walk around her body and lay peonies and roses around herself and my daughter and I looked at each other like well, are we really seeing this and we were my daughter walked it on her own body to protect herself to save herself to heal herself Finally, I went just to the pediatrician and they did blood work on her and that's when we found out she had mono, which was, blew my mind. The hospital couldn't figure that out, but that really isn't the point of the story. The point of the story is we are more than we think we are and we are ascending and we are really seeing what we're seeing, okay? And, and don't I know it can make you feel like you're going crazy, and it can, but don't let anyone convince you different. You trust your own soul. Let the outside chatter alone. People are going to think what they want. Just stay on your own path. Stay on your own journey. And really know that you are love and you are light. And you really are the divine spark. Angels are very real. God is very real. Christ is very real as well. And he is returning. He promised us. And he is returning. Peace, love, and light.